you are welcome to my channel today today i'm going to talk about nine ways i mean nine ways in which you can first start or revive your dead diesel generator do you have a generator that has not been working the diesel engine that you are finding difficult to start then follow this nine ways that i'm going to outline in this video and you the engine will surely start number one is remove the air cleaner then put petrol just small petrol just like two spoon of petrol inside the intake remove the air cleaner and put it right in that hose then then start the engine it should be able to start that is number one way but make sure that the fuel is not too much so that you don't have explosion just teaspoon of fuel or i mean petrol or you can also use um, starting flu to start it what's number two number two way is you need to remove the injectors remove the injectors and put oil engine oil inside the injector hose if you have a four cylinder generator if you have six cylinder generator remove all the injectors put oil inside the um, the injector hose then manually rotate the engine so that the engine can build compression when you build compression what what will you do then fix the injector back then start the engine if the engine lack compression it should be able to start that is number two what is number three number three is that the injector solely load sometimes if you have difficulty with your injector solely load the engine may not start what should you do? Bypass the injector so you not wire, then run a wire, your own wire, to the battery, to the positive side of the battery, run it to the um to the solid node. That is the injection solid node. Put the wire there, just the solid node, remove the solid node out, ensure that the solid node is actuating, then fix the solid node, then try to start. If it doesn't start, then what will you do? That ensure that the solid, the, you, you ensure that you stop the pin that travel in the solenoid that's actuating the solenoid. Find something, pin it down. Let it be in a stop position downward. Then fix the solenoid. Then start it. The generator should be able to start. That is number three. What's the number four way to do? Number four is that if the engine is using glow plug or heater plug, bypass the generator wire. And run your own wire to this to the um positive, positive side of the battery then put it on the on the um heater plug and start the generator yes it means maybe the the wiring is bad so now you are bypassing it you may have a better way to start the engine so that is number four what is number five number five is increase the engine advanced timing some generator especially diesel engine usually have injector timing just lose the injector bolt and advance injector timing let it be a bit high then force the engine to start as soon as the engine is running while the engine is running you can lower the advance back again because when the engine is running with high advanced timing you'll be hearing a knocking sound so what should you do return the advanced timing back again then you are going to have a normal running engine. Don't forget, you can advance and disadvantage the engine. So if you have a generator that are not, not starting, advance the, the timing. If you advance the timing, it will be able to first start your diesel generator. Number six is, if you have a single cylinder injection pump, if your diesel generator is single cylinder injection pump, like as you have in Detroit, no, 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 not Detroit. In Doyce engine, yes, you have in Doyce engine and other um, generators. You have single injection pump. What should you do? Look at these chains under the injection pump. Reduce the chains. If you have two chains there, reduce the chains. If it is gasket that is there, reduce this gasket. When you do the gasket, what do you have? The camshaft will be able to have a better push. On the injection pump and when you do that what happened you are forcing the generator to start then after the generator around for some times you can pull the chains that you remove back 
then you see that your engine will keep running smoothly. That's the number six way to do that. What's the number seven way? Is to bypass the fuel pump. Bypass the fuel pump, bypass the filter, bypass other things, and you use a gravity force right to your injection pump. What do I mean? You know, you bypass the, um, the tank, the fuel tank, you abandon it. You abandon the filter, you abandon the fuel pump. You hang your you use gravity force, put diesel inside a jerry can, hang it somewhere above the generator, then run a wire, run a hose direct to your injection pump, then start the engine. You are doing this in case maybe along the fuel line, the engine is sucking air. So when you run it like that, the engine will not be able to suck air, and the engine should be able to start. But remember, as soon as the engine starts, then you trade it back and connect it back because running it directly, it means that in the, nothing is fitter before. So that will surely enter your injection pump. So that's what you should do. And what's the number eight way is remove the actuator. You can see it on the screen. That is actuator. Some generator come with actuator on the injection pump head. If the actuator is bad, it will not open the injection pump. So what will you do? Remove the actuator, then look for a blockage. Block the edge of the injection pump. In usually rotor, when you have the ro rotary injection pump, remove the actuator, block the, um, the edge. There is a rubber block that you can use to block the air and start the engine. But you should know that you need to find a way to up the engine. You can lose the injection pipe. To, to up the because without the at actuator, you may find it difficult to up the engine and be weird so that the engine will not um, run away from you. So, that is another way you can do that. Remove the actuator, you bypass it, remove it totally before a, uh, a blockage, a cover to cover the, the inside the engine in case the actuator is bad. And another way that I usually use is that. You remove the sensor one after the other and you try to start the engine. Maybe one of the sensors is bad, remove one. Maybe your sensor remove it, they start, try to start the engine. If they don't start, you plug it back, you move another sensor. Just try to remove the sensor one after the other. And you may see maybe one of the sensors will beg the engine to start. These are the nine ways in which you can start a diesel engine. You can force the engine to start. I hope you have benefited a lot from this video. If you are, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Are you interested in writing an article? Then contact me. My Gmail is below in the description below. Do you want to buy accessory on cars on truck? Click the link below. See you in my next video, Mr. Engine.